Hi everyone, merhaba. Welcome back to my channel. This is Ayşenur Altan. In this episode, I'm gonna make one of my favorite cookies in winter time, orange cookies. We're gonna use whole orange uh, with a different technique, processing it with sugar, which will make a pack full of orange flavor in the cookies. And I'm also going to use other vegetable oil, two eggs, raisins, walnuts, yogurt, the baking soda we're gonna use. So let's begin. I'm just going to discharge the a little bit thick part of the inside here and if it if it has any seeds. Adding the sugar two thirds of a cup. Uh, one tablespoon more and process it. Let's check it. It smells so delicious already. It is beautifully uh, processed like a flavorful puree with the sugar now. So I'm gonna add my wet ingredients and then flour. If you don't have a big processor, again, you can use smaller one, add it here. You can continue to add all the ingredients here and then pulse it to make the dough. But just to show you clearly, I'm gonna uh, put it back to the bowl and then continue with the other ingredients. Hundred grams butter. Let's mix them. Going to add two eggs. Two tablespoon yogurt. Over the yogurt, I'm adding close to one tablespoon baking soda. It will activate here. We need some acid in order to baking soda to work. So here we go. And the vegetable oil, third of a cup. And now the flour. Gradually I'm gonna add about three to four cups of flour. I have orange rind mixed with sugar from last year. You can use for your uh, cookies, cakes, etc. So I want to double the taste, so I'm gonna add more and we are good to go. This is the fourth cup along with the raisins and walnuts. So my dough is ready in no time. It is a little bit soft, but when I wash my hand, it doesn't stick. Still, I'm gonna use a spoon to scoop a little bit, but not sticking right now. So this is the consistency. And I'm just gonna make a bowl and then dip it into sugar. You can do all sides, but I think on top will be enough. Traditionally, we are making it bigger, especially in the bakeries, which we call pastane. But I usually prefer it to make it smaller as a snack in the afternoon. Another useful tip will be to keep the raisins inside, try to keep them covered with the dough, so they don't harden when it bakes. While cookies are baking, let me show you another favorite cake you can make with either orange or mandarin. First, prepare a simple cocoa cake, adding orange rind, 
sugar, vegetable oil, milk, flour, cocoa powder. It's a simple and delicious spongy cake. Next prepare a simple sauce with some sugar, water, granulated coffee and pour over the cake to dampen and give some more flavor. For the second layer prepare a pudding with milk, corn flour, sugar and some butter and pour over the cake and let it set. And finally for the orange layer squeeze some orange or mandarin juice and cook it with some sugar and cornstarch along with orange rinse and pour this delicious sauce over the cake. It's a very simple light cake, perfect for winter, easy to serve, so give it a try. I have the complete recipe on my channel, just check the links to watch it. Okay my friends, my cookies are done. It smells delicious. Um, you see there is distinctive color because of the baking soda and the orange, the activation of it along with the yogurt. So give it a try. I'm gonna uh, show you how it looks inside. It is still hot, a bit soft, uh, but it will continue to harden when it cools down. Mm. All the way full and smelling delicious. Mm -hmm. It is a light cookie, a soft inside, crunchy outside with the sugar coating. It can stay I have to, okay, it's brownies and yandula, chocolate. We were frying some dough as a salty snack along with the cookies. I was gonna burn it, but still looks nice now. Okay, give it a try and let me know how it turned out. I have many other cookie recipes on my channel. You can check the links down below and recipes using orange and it's a blessing. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Afiyet olsun.